We're back now with Dr. Darian taking a look at a new study that suggests that naloxone, prescriptions for youth, that's the medication that can reverse an opioid overdose, increased more than 600% from 2017 to 2022. Tell us about this. This is great news in the world of risk reduction when we talk about saving lives, getting more people to be aware of this medication. It's called Narcan or naloxone. It reverses the effects of an opiate overdose. That accounts for the majority of overdoses technically to, uh, to, to substances and drugs every single year. So the fact that we've seen an increase in the rate of that prescribed. The majority of it comes from dentists and surgical specialists after procedures. They prescribed over 2,000% increase when you compare the years of 2017 and 2022. We've seen the rates of youth specifically affected by drug overdoses from opiates increase steadily. So the fact that we're getting more out there, more people aware of it, it's so important, so helpful, so useful. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about this uh, drug because some people are kind of scared. They have it, yeah. they see someone in need. Is there any risk or worry about using this for someone? Great question. I understand that fear, especially when someone is unconscious. You want to make sure that you're not making things worse. Uh, this will not have an effect if opiates are not in your system. So I always tell people, if you have a suspicion and this is available, we use it. We do it in the emergency room, and I would suggest to do it the same outside. And I've seen this work. It changes the game. But the most important thing is that even if you use it and if that person wakes up, you still have to call 911 because many of these substances can last in the body and unfortunately recur and cause symptoms to come back. And the answer may be clear, but what's the timing of it? Should you use it right away as soon as you notice yeah. someone's out? As soon as you notice someone's out, you want to assess them, making sure that they're breathing, making sure that they have a circulation, having someone call 911. And this is just a simple nasal spray. You, in, you spray it inside their nostril. You wait two to five minutes. If you have another dose, you can spray another one. And again, it can reverse the effects and really provide some tremendous help. All right, Doc, thank you very much.